As we're here on St. Patrick's Day, we're trying to find new ways to share the faith with each other in this time when we're being asked to limit our physical contact. And we are trying to distance here. But how many of you knew that we have not only one, but two ands in the office? And so we have to figure out how to distinguish them. One is operating the camera now, but one is here, the original Ann, uh, Ann, our music director. How many of you know that uh, this Ann grew up in a place that was evangelized by St. Patrick? So Ann, uh, nice to have you here, as always, the music director, very dedicated and I'd say talented and, and cheerful in her service. But I'm just going to say, it'd be helpful to hear, how did you honor St. Patrick? What did you do on St. Patrick's Day as a child? So, well, the big thing is St. Patrick's Day is it's a holy day of obligation in Ireland. So we went to Mass, but we always got new clothes. We got particularly ribbons for our hair. I remember my mom would get green ribbons that were sometimes multicolored, but always new ribbons. And we got to wear uh, uh, ribbons. And also a badge. There was a, we called it a St. Patrick's Day badge, but it was usually made of ribbon, usually tricolored like an Irish flag or something. And then you also got fresh shamrock. Uh, and that was pinned on fresh to shamrock. Fresh actual real. Was shamrock. there a scent to the shamrock? Uh, no, I don't no. think so. Mm. No, but it was much. It's much smaller than clover. You know, clover leaves are quite big. By I mean, shamrock was really tiny. Mm -hmm. But we, we, yeah, we got to wear them, and we went to have mass, and they we always, mass. always sang, "Christ be beside me," and and then the the hymn of the day was always, "Hail glorious St. Patrick, dear saint of our isle." And so Christ be beside me. There's a prayer. Uh, I mean, there's a, there's a song that's somewhat popular, right? Based mm -hmm. on this, is that Christ be beside me? Yeah, yeah. I think most people know it. Yeah. yeah, and that's based on a prayer that is attributed to Saint Patrick, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The breastplate prayer. Mm -hmm. So good prayer to pray in our time for protection from uh, evil, from the things that afflict us. Uh, now, did Saint Patrick uh, cast some kind of pestilence out of Ireland? Is that, credit, well, yes, is that something yeah. that's credited to him in right. legends? It, it is. There, yeah, I, I, yeah, legend, rumor, you know, legend has it that St. Patrick drove the snakes out of Ireland. There are no snakes in, in Ireland, and so we, we say it's because he drove them out. Right. <laughs> now, I was privileged about five years ago to go to Ireland with Anne's family who was doing a visit, because your parents still live, or your mm -hmm. mom still lives there, mm -hmm. um, most of her siblings in Dublin, and so, or that area. So there was a time we actually went over to Croak Patrick. It's the mountain of St. Patrick. And well, in this time that we hear about respiratory issues, uh, I was told by the doctor, Anne's mother said, you're going to the urgent care because I was having an asthma attack and I didn't believe it. And well, we went into the D-Doc and he prescribed a few things. He prescribed Oh, we're, we're, what are you doing the rest of your time here? I said, well, we're going out towards the West Coast. I said, oh, you gotta go to Matt Malloy's pub. Cool, oh, okay. So that was his number one prescription. That's the number one prescription the doctor gave. And then uh, mentioned we were thinking of going up this mountain, penitential path up this mountain of St. Patrick. I said, oh no, you shouldn't do that. We let him go about halfway up. Yeah. Halfway yeah, up, yeah. yeah. So, what are you going to do? We did our penance and went back down. Mm -hmm. But at any rate, Anne, any other last words about St. Patrick, your patron? Um, no, we, well, we'll just pray that St. Patrick will intercede for us to keep us safe and healthy uh, at this time. But I, do, I did find that, the breastplate of St. Patrick recently. And there's a beautiful uh, rendition of that that's been posted. We might post that. Um, which, which uh, gives a, a shorter version of it, but it's, um, but it's a beautiful prayer for protection. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you, Anne, and St. Patrick, pray for us.